Welcome to RAMS Android Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will discuss about the activity lifecycle in Android. So, in Android application, typically we have a more than one activity. Here, every activity has its own life cycle. So we are not talking about the every application has its own life cycle. So, in the application, we have a multiple activities. So, every activity has its own life cycle. First of all, let us see who is going to manage the activities in the application. So here in Android we have a activity manager. So activity manager is going to manage all the activities in the application. So activity manager is going to create one stack that one we are going to call as a back stack now. So as soon as you open the application the activity manager comes into the picture. It is going to create a one stack that one we call as a backstack backstack or activity stack now so uh, we call that one as a backstack or activity stack so suppose you will see I have taken here three activities first of all I have launched the application it is launched the activity called activity 1 so in the 0 position it's going to load the activity 1 and from the activity 1 I am navigating to the activity 2 so in the 1 position in the 1 index number it's going to load the activity 2 now so at the same time again I am navigating from activity 2 activity 3 so in the second position it is loading the activity 3 so if you see the activity manager is going to managing these three activities in the back stack or activity stack now so always top of the stack which element we are having see here in the top of the po top position we have a third activity so always user is interacting with the activity 3 only but the activity 1 and activity 2 are in the background so like this if they coming to the backward navigation so it's going to remove from the stack then we have a top of the stack is the activity 2 so activity 2 comes to the foreground and user is interacting with the activity 2 now. again from the activity 2 if user hits the back button activity 2 is going to destroy it is going to remove from the stack again we have a top of the stack is activity 1 now so activity 1 comes to the picture and here also if user clicks the back button activity 1 is also removed from the activity stack then we are application is going to close so like this every time whenever you create the application you need to keep this concept in your mind or otherwise you are not going to make a good Android application now. Enter your application forward and backward navigations are completely based on this activity stack or back stack. So you need to keep this concept in the mind now. Again, this is for example to you simply understanding um, I have explained. And if you go to the developer.android.com, then clearly uh, if you type here activity lifecycle, then you will get the concept of you will see managing the activity lifecycle. So you can read this theory part then you will understand what is going to happen in the activity lifecycle. So here again we can understand whenever the activity first time created some methods are executing and the activity whenever it goes to the background few more methods are executing and again the activity from the background if comes to the foreground few more methods are executing and whenever you hit the back button that means activity is destroying some more methods are executing. So totally we have a methods these methods you can observe here on create on start on resume on pause on stop on restart on destroy. So totally we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These 7 methods we are going to call as a activity life cycle methods. So again you can go to my blog and you can check it there uh, about the activity life cycle. Just you can search here activity life cycle. So clearly I have explained here about the theory part. So who is going to manage the activity life cycle. So totally here we have a 7 methods. About every method you can read some theory part here. And you have some diagram also. And whenever the activity comes to the foreground, going to the background. And uh, whenever uh, we are hitting the, we are destroying the button. So what are the methods are executing we can observe here. And 
So these methods we can check through the activity life cycle program. So first what we need to do is we need to create an application called activity life cycle. So we can check through this program how these life cycle methods are working. And let me start the journey motion. So first of all, we need to overwrite the all life cycle methods. Already we have an on grid method. So on start, again on resume, again on pause, again on stop, again on restart, again on destroy. So these are the methods. So let me keep the log statements log dot d and uh, the tag I'm going to keep is string tag equal to uh, main activity so here we use the tag and uh, this one is on create and in the same way we need to take the log statements in every method This is on start and uh, here we need to keep on resume and this is on pause and this is on stop and this is on restart and this is on destroy right so kept the all the log statements so uh, Right, still the journey motion is loading. So if you execute this application, uh, you can open the logcat here, go to the DDMS, and in the DDMS you can select the logcat. In that you can observe whenever the activity is launching, these methods are executing or not, you can see the logs. At the same time, hit the home button and observe the log statements. And again, you'll see here we have a logcat. So in the logcat we can observe right, still uh, we can run the application and check the output methods in the logcat now right so whenever first time it is launching uh, what are the methods are executing and whenever you hit the home button which methods are executing and again Whenever you are opening the same activity again, it is coming from background to foreground which methods are executing and you hit the back button which methods are executing, you can check in the logcat. So my emulator is still, it is loading, but you can check the logs in your Eclipse. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe my channel below and you can get more code from my uh, ramstandardforall.blogspotted. Thank you for watching.